Lint Gourmet Truffles Made in the USA How much? $24 full price from Coles Lint master chocolatiers have been perfecting the art of chocolate making since 1845 over 170 years of passion have gone behind making some of the finest chocolates and creating exquisite new recipes. Milk chocolate truffle, white chocolate truffle, dark chocolate truffle, fudge swell milk chocolate truffle, and caramel dark chocolate truffle. That's a lot of truffle. Yep. Milk chocolate contains cocoa solids 32% minimum, milk solids 16% minimum, dark chocolate contains cocoa solids 50% minimum, white chocolate contains cocoa solids 36% minimum. They contain tree nuts. You know, I was looking for gluten-free chocolate today. Yeah. And a lot of chocolate have gluten in it. Yeah. And do these? This one doesn't say, like, may contain traces of gluten, but one of the ingredients that I looked up online, it said if it's got barley malt extract, what if you could, you can't count that as gluten free. I don't know why. What's barley? A wheat thing? Yeah, well, it's, yeah, it's a uh, grain. So this probably, you can't eat it, even though it doesn't say may contain gluten. Ready? Da, da, <laughs> nah, nothing. <laughs> Boom boom. Do the favor. Oh. More plastic. Oh, you got a safety knife right next to you. Oh my god. Okay, now it's Here we go. Ready? ready? <laughs> Ta da! Oh, pretty. Pretty. I feel like it's, you know, you're in one of those jewelry shops and they put on a fancy chain and they're like, oh. which ring would you like? That'll they're be $10,000. They're very shiny in this tray. All right. Two of everything. But we're just going to have one and cut it in half. Linda's cutting skills are back. Um, they're round as well. Jeez. No, nah, the safety knife cuts through anything. We've discovered the best knife for cutting oh, stuff. This is very cool. Yeah. Ooh. It was 41 degrees in Adelaide a couple days ago, and these survived my house with no air conditioning. Oh, look at that. That looks juicy. That looks nice. Oh, this one's gonna get all like this chocolate on it. Oh, they're all very swishy inside. Well, it's easy to cut, isn't that good? <laughs> no, that's your cutting. I'm trying not to get the milk chocolate on there. Ah, oh, see? All right. worth it. This is what the inside of bowls look like. I mean truffles. Does that look good? It does look good. All right. Which one are you going to go with first? Mm, this one. Whatever this is. It's going to have the juicy one. one. They're both juicy. All right. Cheers. Wow. That is very juicy inside. Dark chocolate truffle. These taste exactly like those Lindor balls, but they're like fancier on the outside, that's all. I normally suck those. That's why this doesn't instantly remind me of that, because I never chew it. But yes, when you say that, they are the same. In hot weather, the Lindor balls get exactly the same on the inside. They get really soft and runny on the inside. I feel like you get more feeling with this one, though. Mm, about the same. So this is the milk chocolate version. The same milk chocolate truffle. Cheers. The outside's a lot thicker than a Lindor bowl. So I'd say the outside's like three times thicker than a Lindor bowl. But they're about the same circumference, I would say. But a Lindor bowl's got a very thin shell. And then a bit more, I think they've got more filling. Which one's got more feeling? The other a one? A Lindor ball, because it's, really? it's got a thinner outer shell. We haven't done Lindor balls on the channel yet. We might have to get we'll one for to, a comparison. So I can cut them and then eat them and experience them that way. I've never chewed a Lindor ball. Alright. Well, we'll test that out soon. That's nice though. Oh. These are nice. Very easy to eat and they're very smooth. 
goes down well. And they've got a bit of texture to them because the outside's got like some bit of chew to it and a bit of pattern on it. So it gives a, a chew on the outside, but then like a really silky, soft, runny chocolate on the inside. If you eat them in winter though, they'll be harder in the middle. It'll be more like Nutella type of consistency. Yeah, I don't feel like they'd be as good in cold yeah. weather. They'd be a bit gloggy and dry. I've had Lindor balls out of the fridge and they're rock hard. And then in winter they're also rock hard. And then in summer they're like completely squishy. And all the oil is coming out. I like them like this. Yeah. This is good. Cheers. Oh, that one is so sweet. Sweet white chocolate. Mmm, bit too much. That was only half of all. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we've had one and a half so far, if you were counting full bowl, so. I know, but even for half a white bowl, that is so sweet. I don't think I'd like that full one by itself. Alright, and then is that a caramel dark? Is it? Yes, this looks like caramel. Oh, that's not as sweet as I thought it was going to be. That's actually quite well balanced. Definitely a different flavour. That's nice. Definitely not as sweet as the white one. That's good. And the dark's not as dark as I thought it was going to be as well. So it actually balances quite well together. Did you eat a whole half a box by yourself? Over an hour, not over two minutes. Still, even an hour, geez, that is a lot of chocolate. Yeah. If I wanted sugar, definitely I could pump them. All right, last one. Last one, pick your heart. What's, what's this one? one? That one looks like it's got more. What's this one? What's this one? I can't remember. See, see how thick the outer layer is on this one? You can... Is this the one with the lines on it? Yeah. Fudge, swell, milk chocolate. Cool. I don't know why, but I like the last two the best. Now I eat a whole one. You eat a whole one. That is so much chocolate. I feel like for gourmet truffles, a couple of them would be better in this box if they had like nuts in them, like a hazelnut one with the actual hazelnuts in it. I feel like one of them needs crunch, like a wafer, like little wafer pieces distributed within it, and then one with some nuts on the outside or something. So then they're not all the same texture. It would be nice if they included one more or two more different ones for something a bit interesting. But instead of the two doubles that you get. Yeah. What a missed opportunity in America. Come on, mate. <laughs> they're, they're bragging on the back about how they've been around since like, what, the 1800s or something like oh, that. Nice. Maybe truffles aren't supposed to have nuts in them. Well, maybe they could be better if they had nuts. You just want a Ferrero. Just go and eat a Ferrero. <laughs> I want a fancy lint truffle. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to Harbour Town and we're going to buy all the fancy lint chocolates and we're going to try and eat every single lint chocolate there is on this channel. Deal? No. Okay, deal. <laughs> That's what the people want. That's what they're going to get. No way. All right. Want that comment below. No everyone put your hand up comment. if you want lint chocolate. Okay, me and the sloth have got our hands up. <laughs> Linda... Has got her hands on her knees, so she's a half. You, you and the sloth can go together. So that's two and a half votes for yes. Okay. So we're going to go buy all the lint chocolate. Good idea. Well done, Linda. Well done. Whatever. Okay. Cheers. See ya. <laughs> Do you not going to rate them? Yeah. <laughs> what are we rating these? I like this box. They're quite nice. They would make a really nice gift box. Nine out of ten. Wow. I, for $24 full price, never pay full price, I would rate these a 7. If, like me, you bought them for $10.60 on special, I would rate them an 8. If they had nuts and wafers in some of them, I would rate them a 9.5. So, there's some work to do, Lint. Maybe you could improve. Fussy. Never be pleased with where you're at. Always keep improving. Incremental improvements. 
will make the people happy. See how Linda just looks content? She could be smiling and look happy right now if you had some nuts and wafer. But no, these truffles do not. See ya!